Dwayne The Rock Johnson in California Love. Never again, Austin. Never again. San Andreas, or San Andreas, whatever. So San Andreas, Andreas, whatever, tomato, tomato, is a new disaster movie that follows The Rock, who plays as a search and rescue guy, who, during the middle of this earthquake, the San Andreas Falls finally collapse after, like, a nine-point-something earthquake, tries to save his daughter and his ex-wife. It's a disaster movie with The Rock, that's all you have to know going into this. Alrighty guys, so let's get into San Andreas. Andreas. I had a lot of fun with this movie. It's dumb, but it is a lot of fun. Now in terms of acting performances, The Rock is literally the only reason why people are going to see this movie. Seriously, The Rock is such a charismatic guy on screen, and plus he is just so likable that you just want to see him in any movie. Paul Giamatti's in the movie, he's Fine for what he's in it. Carla Gugino, also fine. Alexander Daddario, best I've seen her in a long time, but not really saying too much. The special effects, for the most part, were good. I liked seeing the destruction of California. And also, there's this really, really cool, like, I think like a man after two minute long shot take where it's following Carla Gugino witnessing the damage inside this restaurant then going out to this rooftop. That was a really well done shot. Now, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, regardless if you're fans of The Rock and if you want to see this movie, you have to turn your brain off literally like, Completely, because there are just so many things in this movie that have so much illogic in it that you will go nuts. So, if you turn your brain off, I think you may enjoy this movie. Now, while this movie may be fun, I did say dumb, and man, it is dumb. Like, there are some parts where you'll be like, oh my god, really? But then there are some times you'll be thinking, really? Most of the time, I was like the latter portion. I will give San Andreas credit for this. It is better than 2012. Yeah, that stupid movie. Because here's the thing. In 2012, Roland Emmerich tried way too hard to get an actual story out of this thing. Because when it comes to disaster movies, who cares about a story? You just want to see the destruction of a place. That's another thing that this movie tries to go for. It tries to give you a story with characters that you like. I mean, except for Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you honestly just don't care if any of these characters survive. You just want to see, you just want to see this city go into shreds. But yet, there are still so many times where the movie just wants you to care, in which I did not give a shit. Now, the CG, for the most part, was fine, but there were times where, especially in the very first scene, the CG almost was so freaking bad, I could see the green screen. And there were just so many parts where it comes to the destruction where it just didn't look that great. The movie, I think, is so freaking predictable. Like, Lily, there were just so many times where I called out so many things before they happen. Like, there's this one character who's a douchebag, and I expected him to abandon someone 15 minutes before it happened, and it did happen. Not to mention the dialogue in the movie is so, so cheesy. <laughs> So overall, San Andreas, it's not the best disaster film of all time. It's more, I guess, on the decent side of disaster films. If you like The Rock, you may have a fun time with this movie, but guys, seriously, turn your brain off almost completely, and just maybe if it can get over the illogicalness, you might just enjoy this movie. So overall, I'm gonna give San Andreas a two out of five. If you're into disaster movies, you may get a kick out of this movie. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'm also on Patreon if you want to help my channel even more with my videos. If you wanna follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links are in the description below. If you liked what you saw and if you enjoyed the video, please like it, share this video, and most importantly, subscribe. And until the next review, I will see you guys next time.